Today we're going to replace the canister purge solenoid in this 2012 Chevy with a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. So the canister purge solenoid is actually mounted right here on the top of the intake manifold. Relatively straightforward and easy to access. And you'll notice that this comes actually with a check valve in here. Now remember, this is a turbocharged engine. So most of the time, this intake on a gasoline engine is going to be under vacuum, except for when the car is under boost and then we're going to have pressure on the system. And we don't want the system to be actually purging and then get pressure through it and go back and pressurize the EVAP system. Only we want the system to be purging and drawing a vacuum on it and keeping vapors flowing from the tank to the intake here. So that's why there's a check valve built into here. Sometimes this gets stuck or uh, restricted, causing an EVAP issue. So that's the case in this one here. I'm actually just going to go over here to the intake and you'll see my connection. I can pinch it and that releases the clip here, pops it up. Now I've got another clip here which I can pop around with my finger and kind of will allow me, also as I slide out of the bracket here, gives me a little better access to, to move this around. And you'll see that the electrical connector is here on the back side. So, I can release the electrical connector. Again, kind of access these clips here, release it. I'm gonna be careful, I don't wanna necessarily snap it off or cause any damage here. But once I release it, now I've got my old purge solenoid off. So with the clip still in the release position, I'll slide my new line in place here. Once it's all the way seated, I'll lock it in place. And I just notice there's part of the rubber from the old valve here. So I'm going to slide that off. I can slide the new one back in the correct mounting bracket here. A little kind of a uh, little bit of a trick. Get, the, get that lined up here. Slide it in place up until I can make my next connection. Lock that down. Then I simply take my electrical connector, lock it in place, and we're going to double check, make sure everything's fully seated here. But just like that, we've gone ahead and replaced our canister purge solenoid. Now, it's always a good practice to ensure that there's no debris in the system here. You know, if the canister was contaminated at one point and we had any uh, type of debris in the lines here, it's always good to verify that. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is clear any trouble codes that were set with the old unit, rerun our self-test, ensure that it's working properly, and we're ready to go. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of what it takes to replace the canister purge solenoid on this 2012 Chevy with a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine.